Long irons are a challenge for all golfers. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or not. But if you're able to hit the ball solidly and straight with your longer irons, then you have a really big advantage because you're able to control the ball flight so much better than clubs like hybrids rescues. Now, if you manage to hit your balls into the air with the long irons, but aren't happy with the direction, then I really have a good technique tip for you to hit the balls straight, and I mean really straight. Now, to be able to do that, you need to use two opposites, which will work against one another to hit the ball straight. So I'll first hit a ball, and I'll tell you what I did. So that ball flew as straight as an arrow with quite a nice low gorging ball flight. So what I did was, during the backswing, I made sure that my club face was slightly closed. Now how did I do that? I just bent my wrist so that my club face closed slightly. Okay, obviously it also depends on what your tendency is. If you have a closed club face at the top of the swing, then you've done part one of my exercise already. But most golfers have a slightly open club face at the top. So just bend your wrist and then you'll feel like a cupped position. And I'm sure you've seen Dustin Johnson do it. It's something similar to that. So that's part one. Now, if I would swing neutrally down to the ball from there, my club face would be closed and the ball would fly to the left, which is good in a way because then I know when I do that, that my balls can't fly to the right. But I hear you say, I definitely don't want to hook the ball into the woods. So absolutely correct. So the second part is then to turn your lower body as much as you can. And then it'll be so much easier for you to hold the club, to keep the club face straight during impact. And that's it. Close, turn. And by turning, you'll automatically hold the club more open. Obviously, this is something you need to practice, but I'm very certain you're gonna like this. Okay, one more go. And it's something that really works for me most of the time. It's something that I use when I'm under pressure. So thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Golf Beginner World. I'd love to see you again.